Hello everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. I'm Dr. Yolan Chan, Associate Dean Research and PhD MSc programs at Smith School of Business. I'm delighted that you have taken the time to participate in the webinar and that you are interested in our PhD or MSc program. As you know, Smith School is world renowned. Our faculty are highly ranked and publish in top journals. They take pride in their teaching and they uh, look forward to mentoring uh, junior colleagues or graduate students. Our PhD and MSc programs are very rigorous, they're research focused, but we are very supportive of our students and have a dedicated staff and engaged faculty. We are located in beautiful Kingston, Ontario, and that is in the eastern part of Ontario in Canada. Today's webinar is focused on management analytics. As you may know, we have nine specializations in the Smith School of Business PhD MSc program. Analytics is one of our fastest growing and prominent specializations. With me today, I have Dr. Anton Ochinikov, and I also have with me doctoral candidate Stephanie Kelly. Uh, Dr. Ochinikov will present, and then Stephanie Kelly will provide a, a few free form comments, and we'll open the floor to Q&A. Please enter your questions in the box on the lower right hand side of your screen. Note that in addition to this webinar, I recommend that you listen to the introductory webinar on the PhD MSc website. In that webinar, we discuss funding and we talk about uh, commonalities across all of the specializations. For instance, that year one of the PhD program is the equivalent to our master's program and that many of our PhD students enter through our master's program. With no further ado, let me turn the floor over to Dr. Ochinikov. Thank you very much, Yolanda. Uh, hello, everyone. And maybe, Stephanie, this is the time for you to say hello yes, to everyone hello as everyone. well. Yes, hello, everyone. Perfect. So, um, management analytics, uh, PhD and MSc programs. Uh, uh, the MSc programs, as uh, Dr. Chen said, is a one-year program that starts in September and finishes in August, e equivalent effectively to the first year of PhD. Uh, there is uh, a scholarship uh, uh, funding for that. Now, PhD program is a much longer program where the first two years are primarily dedicated to coursework and some uh, beginnings of the research. Then there is a comprehensive exam, and then there is a, 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 another two to three years uh, for thesis work. Uh, PhD students receive a slightly bigger funding, so the numbers on the slide here are the current levels, but they uh, we work uh, hard to um, increase them uh, when we can. Um, uh, in, in both programs, and I want to make it uh, clear right away, is that there are ample opportunity for teaching assistantships, TA or research assistantships, array, uh, at the rates of around $30 to $40 per hour for graduate students. Uh, the students who complete uh, our MSc program and decide to enter a PhD program effectively will be entering PhD program in the second year. So all, all of these things are really um, not uh, specific to management analytics. They are generic, and um, as Yolanda mentioned, there is a webinar about that, and the link is here um, on the slide. Now, specifically about uh, management analytics. So management analytics um, or is, is, is an area that consists of two sub-areas. So one of them has a historical name of management science. It has to do with the development and application of advanced mathematical and quantita uh, quantitative methods to improve decision making in organizations. It is closely related to a set of techniques known as operations research. And uh, today, uh, there is a, a, a flourishment of these, uh, of these techniques and methods because we both have the methods themselves as well as the data that uh, uh, is an artifact of having a big data. Uh, a world's leading organization in this space is something called Informs, and here is the link, informs.org. Uh, uh, if you'd like, please uh, go ahead and uh, uh, research more. A related field to management science and operations research is something called operations management. It has a lot of common methodological grounds uh, with management science, but the particular focus in on efficient management of services and manufacturing operations. Uh, analysis of supply chains is a subfield of operations, 
And uh, uh, one of the leading world organizations on this space is something called Production Operations Management Society. And here is, again, the link to, uh, uh, to the POMS website. Now, speaking of analytics uh, uh, itself, uh, there are three la levels or, or layers of analytics. Uh, descriptive analytics, which describe what is happening. Uh, think about the various data visualizations or, 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 or statistics. Then there is a predictive analytics, which is describing what will happen. Um, and these are various models, uh, machine learning models, uh, uh, among others. And on the top of this pyramid is prescriptive analytics. Uh, what is best? What should we do uh, now that we have a predictions about what will happen? So this is a, a, a focus area of optimization. And all these three, optimization, modeling, and data, anal uh, data analysis, they're all uh, sub um, uh, su subfields, su 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 subgroups of analytics. Now, with these uh, uh, operations management, operations research, management science, and the three levels of analytics, the faculty here at the uh, management analytics group have a variety of research interests and a variety of publications in recent years. So here I list uh, uh, just a few of the research areas. So for instance, the uh, pricing and revenue management, and in particular with strategic consumers, interface with marketing and operations, analysis of lifetime value of customers, analysis of assortment optimization, consumer choice modeling, and in general modeling consumer behavior, global supply chains, sustainable operations, uh, adaptive algorithms and online learning, applications to finance, financial engineering, and optimization problems uh, in energy markets, and generally speaking, uh, various applied research in different industries. In particular, uh, in financial services industry, which is A, big in Canada, and B, we have a particularly strong connections to that industry through Scotiabank Center for Customer Analytics, or SCCA. Um, in terms of the uh, uh, area publication, so here what I do on, on, on the right, uh, um, uh, I asked our research office, and uh, over the last five years, our area members pub have about 50 publications in the very, very bestest journals in the world. And here I list uh, some of the examples. So uh, uh, Management Science, uh, uh, which is a flagship journal of Informs, uh, uh, and Operations Research, which is another flagship journal of Informs. So one of them is fo more focused on, on the applications, which is Management Science, and another more focused on methods, which is application uh, Operations Research. So we have in total about nine, pa nine research papers there. For instance, my work on strategic consumers revenue management and the design of loyalty program, in fact, coming out uh, uh, this year, uh, coming up this year in management science, um, and, uh, work by uh, my colleague Sumit Kunumkal about the uh, algorithms for assortment planning. Um, uh, manufacturing and services operations management is another uh, uh, top, top journal. And for instance, my co colleague Guang Li um, has a paper there about uh, pricing and inventory planning uh, with charitable donations. Production Operations Management is a flagship journal of the POM Society, and we have a good uh, a number of research papers there. For example, my colleagues Yuri Levin and Mikhail Nediak um, have a paper there about products upgrade, product upgrades and, and, and stochastic technology advancements. Now, on, on top of those, there are numerous other very good uh, uh, research journals, uh, such as EGOR, which is the leading uh, uh, journal in this field in Europe, and um, we have about uh, the same number, 20-something publications there in the last uh, several years. Now, uh, with, with this, it's a time to go in and talk a little bit about the individual faculty. And uh, in our group, uh, what, what is quite nice is that almost every faculty is uh, uh, very research active, as you see here. Right In the last uh, two years, basically, multiple of our faculty, just on this slide alone, published in the very, very uh, top journals. So um, uh, here I'll just uh, give uh, just one or two sentences summary about uh, who does what. Uh, uh, Yuri Levin uh, is an expert in revenue management and dynamic pricing, uh, in, in particular with strategic uh, consumers and uh, overall understanding model and consumer behavior. I do do some work uh, on behavioral operations and con strategic consumers, but I also do work in, in, on sustainability problems uh, and, and on applications. Our colleague Mikhail Nediak, uh, uh, again, uh, Professor Levin and Professor Nediak, they uh, co-authored multiple works together. And again, he's uh, also interested in pricing uh, and revenue management. 
but also on the more technical issues of, of computations uh, and uh, or on efficient computing. Uh, uh, Sumit Gunam Kal is an expert on retail operations and assortment planning. Uh, Matthew Thompson is an expert in financial engineering and optimization approaches for various uh, finance and uh, risk and energy uh, problems. Professor Tatiana Levina is um, an expert in uh, algorithmic learning, in, in online learning, again, with applications to, to, to revenue management and pricing. Professor Nalcha uh, uh, is an expert in the interfaces of operations and marketing and uh, in, in supply chain. Uh, uh, Guang Li um, is an expert on choice modeling and assortment planning. Uh, Professor Zhu Wang uh, uh, also studies uh, interactions with operations research and statistics and with particular interest to real-time decisions and, and control theory. And Murray Lei, who uh, is our newest uh, faculty hire, he just joined us last year. Um, uh, he looks at intersection of between business analytics and operations, um, and in particular for decision-making in dynamic business environments. With uh, uh, this diversity in uh, uh, faculty profiles, uh, we have a very similar diversity in the topics of research by PhD and MSc students. So here are some uh, of the recent examples, uh, product upgrades, urban development strategies, uh, uh, machine learning, dynamic pricing with social learning. These are some of the PhD, uh, recent PhD uh, uh, thesis information. On the uh, MSc program, again, economic and environmental impact of, of green technology, um, uh, uh, various uh, financial instruments, uh, regulation in wireless and telecom industry, uh, again, another application to green products uh, uh, from the, on the consumer side, understanding consumer willingness to pay, uh, machine learning methodologies for modeling customer retention, uh, um, again, strategic consumer behavior and loyalty programs. So, as, as you can see, there is a wide variety of, of, of research interests on, on, on the uh, student side as well. Let's now switch a little bit uh, um, to talk about what we look for in the applicants. And so here are some of the expectations that we uh, have for the applicants who are interested in our programs. So first and foremost, focus on research and advanced applications. Both MSc and PhD are, of course, research-oriented programs. They're graduate programs, but focused on, on heavily on research. Number two, uh, we want applicants to have interest in analytical approaches to managerial problems. We, of course, want applicants to have strong analytical skills uh, and advanced mathematical skills. This means a variety of possible backgrounds. Uh, of course, this list is not uh, uh, exclusive, and, and we welcome uh, uh, applicants of all backgrounds. Uh, but the particular backgrounds that are, are, are most frequently observed are the mathematics and statistics, uh, business or commerce with uh, quant uh, emphasis, economics, engineering or physics, uh, and computer science. Um, also importantly is the good match between the interest of individual applicant and the existing interest of the faculty. Uh, computational and programming skills are of course a plus, and uh, industry experience related to faculty interest is, is also a plus. Combining the Topics of interest uh, of faculty and topics of interest of students is the coursework in uh, management science and analytics. And uh, here there are two tables. The one on the top outlines the PhD coursework. The one on the bottom outlines the, the MSc top uh, 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 coursework. But I'd perhaps start with MSc because it's a little bit easier to understand. So in the fall, there are, uh, there are three courses. Deterministic models of operations research, probabilistic models of operations research, both of these courses are methods courses, right? They are courses about the methodologies uh, used in the field of analytics. Uh, these two courses are taught by uh, faculty members in our area. And then applied statistics and econometrics, that's a course that is uh, taught by a person from a different area, uh, but this is one of those common courses that is taken by students from multiple different areas and analytics students are taking it as well. Now, in the winter term, uh, there are several courses that rotate. Uh, advanced topics in analytics and uh, analysis of supply chain, 
these two courses appear in, con in, in, in subsequent years, meaning that in one year there would be one of them and in next year there will be another of them. In parallel to that course, there is a course on big data analytics or a course in machine learning and artificial intelligence. And finally, in the winter term, there is also an elective uh, course that can be taken both here at Smith or elsewhere um, at the university. That's ma uh, Master of Science program. It's a one-year program, so uh, depending on which year the students apply, uh, you will be getting one of those two winter term courses. The PhD program, because it's a longer program, and, and students will take courses for the two years, they will have uh, an opportunity to take both of those courses in the winter term, just it, it depends on which one of them will happen first. Uh, uh, that, that depends on when the student will apply. Also, in the uh, year uh, two of the PhD program, there is a course on the introduction to research methodology, which is, again, a, a course that spans all the uh, subject areas within the school, as well as there another elective, um, uh, oftentimes taking in the computer science, mathematics, or engineering department uh, at the university. Now, concluding uh, uh, my presentation, uh, here are the potential career paths for the uh, graduates of the two programs. And for the, uh, for the MSc uh, program, those would be employment in uh, advanced analytics position in consulting, financial services, logistics, or related areas, as well as continuation to PhD studies. Uh, both uh, at Smith or elsewhere. And for PhD program, the main career path is uh, academic research and, and teaching career in analytics, or as an alternative, again, advanced, highly advanced research positions um, in the industry. I think this is all um, I have for my presentation, and I believe, uh, Yolanda, now um, uh, we will give a, a, a floor to uh, Stephanie, right, who is our PhD uh, a student, uh, Stephanie, for your remarks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I'm a second year PhD student in the analytics program. Um, and I think I'll, I'll speak a little bit about the summer research project, which is something I found quite unique to the program here at, at Smith. So uh, this is something that occurs for both MSc and PhD students after your first year. Uh, so you take a first year of coursework and during the summer period, so from April kind of onwards until August, you are responsible to write a research paper. And I think what's unique about this is there's a great support system here at Smith that really helps you get on that publishing track, especially if you're new to the area of research, so either as an MSc or uh, a PhD student. So the school makes sure that you're on track in terms of proposals and you have the resources um, and the supervision required to actually craft something um, that could be submitted for publication. And again, it's unique because you have this guidance and this opportunity. Um, Anton, or Professor Opchunikov mentioned uh, the Scotiabank Center for Customer Analytics. So within the analytics department, there's lots of opportunities to, to work with uh, the Scotiabank Center, if that's of interest of you. Um, but of course, we have uh, professors that work across a range of areas. And so you get the unique opportunity to, to dive into research uh, with you know, a great support system, both from the department, but also from uh, the PhD MSc program office. Um, so for me, that, that's been a really unique part. And you know, when I was looking at different programs, that absolutely uh, came out as a, a big advantage um, to the program here at Smith. Um, I think that's probably all I have at the moment. Uh, so I'll yeah. hand it back over to uh, Dr. Chen. And we'll... yeah, I, I mean, for, 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 from my end, I, I flipped to the slide on the recent uh, graduate research by uh, uh, Master of Science students who, uh, um, for whom this summer project is, is their summer thesis. And for instance, this second but last machine learning methodologies for modeling retention is now, in fact, a very well-selling uh, 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 case. And a lot of students all over the world are learning about machine learning based on the work of that particular uh, uh, Master of Science student um, uh, who worked here. Uh, the very last topic, uh, forward-looking behavior and loyalty programs, uh, this was done in collaboration with the, with, with the large loyalty program uh, a partner. Again, so the student worked 
uh, uh, with the partner organization. And some of these are, are, are very theoretical works. Again, this randomness and correlation project is basically just a theoretical work that was of interest uh, uh, to that particular student and, 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 uh, and, and the supervisor of the student. Thank you both. I think you've highlighted, pardon me, some of the unique features of this Smith School of Business Analytics program. You have mentioned that the first year of the PhD is equivalent to the MSc program, and you've also mentioned that all of our students have the opportunity to do research. And a research project in the summer following admission is a critical part of our learning experience. I'd like to ask both Dr. Ochinikov and also Stephanie Kelly to talk about uh, what else sets Queen's apart? What else is distinct and unique about the Smith School of Business Management Analytics opportunity? For one, could you tell us a little bit more about the Scotiabank Center and what opportunities exist here that might not exist at another university for a management analytics student? Stephanie, do you want to take yes, it? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So I was privileged to have the opportunity actually to work with um, with the Scotiabank Center for Customer Analytics. So it's a uh, research industry partnership that we have here uh, at Smith. And uh, myself, as well as a number of students, uh, research um, practical issues. So again, it's a business school, so um, practical solutions for uh, Scotiabank. And in this case, um, I particularly was working on a project around uh, artificial intelligence ethics in financial services, um, but really there's it, a Canadian bank is so large and so there's a multitude of opportunities to research there. Um, and in many cases there are additional scholarships or additional funding uh, that can be applied for with the program, which makes it quite unique. Um, and having that industry connection is, is really invaluable when you're talking about having practical research problems. And, and and I would uh, uh, completely agree. Uh, and the only thing that I was I, I would add that um, uh, in research, perhaps the worst that can happen is that if the students or, or or professor will spend some time researching something that does not have much practical potential. Uh, this way, by by starting research by interacting with industry executives, um, we really are very fortunate that that we have executive attention. Uh, we have access to data, we have, in a way, understanding of what the problems really are, and, and, and this allows us, as faculty or our students, to work on something that is very practical and relevant uh, and, and ultimately impactful uh, for, for the industry. Thank you both. I'd like to turn our attention to the international makeup of our faculty, students, and the activities that we have at uh, Smith School of Business. I know that we have visitors who are international, and there are seminars and conferences where individuals come from all across Canada, North America, and beyond. Can you just comment more fully on the exposure that a, a student has here to people beyond those at Smith School of Business, both other students and visiting faculty and other opportunities that they may have? Uh, so, uh, a little, uh, I'm not sure if the question was to me or, or, or to Stephanie. So, um, first, first and foremost, I think both the student population and uh, in, in the MSc PhD program and otherwise student population in other programs, as well as the faculty, are are, are very very diverse, right? So, so we have uh, a very uh, uh, good uh, balance in terms of nationalities and genders and. Uh, 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 I, I guess in otherwise otherwise interest and experiences and um, languages spoken, etc. So uh, uh, on, 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 in terms of the visitors, yes, so we, we do have an active uh, seminar series, and uh, because of our industry connections, this seminar series, in fact, extends beyond the Smith School uh, location in Kingston, and we run. Uh, an active seminar series out of our Toronto, um, uh, what do we call it, facility, right? Out, out, out of our Toronto office, 
and 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 that uh, touches on again the 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 state of the art research as well as the state of the art practitioners. Uh, we do run multiple conferences ourselves, and of course there is. I, I didn't mention it at the beginning, but there is also funding available for students and faculty for students to to travel to. You know, effectively, the, the the most important international conferences of 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 their field of interest. So, w w whatever those would be, um, and um, and the speakers coming in here as well. So, uh, yeah, I think that's that that, that, that that's probably uh, uh, enough. Yeah. No, thank you so much. Uh, I think it is indeed a, a community that's very diverse and very international. I wanted just to mention that although we have been focusing on research and practice, in the PhD MSc program we also equip our students with teaching skills and our students have TA opportunities and they have the opportunities in their upper years, at least the doctoral students do, to teach courses while they're in the PhD program. So we, we want to provide a very rich experience, a set of experiences and skill sets and uh, we do emphasize research, but we we focus on the whole person and ensure that the graduate is going to succeed in his or her next institution. So unless there are other questions that have been submitted, we'll draw our webinar to a close. I want to thank our speakers, Dr. Chinikov and Stephanie Kelly, for their time today. I want to thank the webinar attendees for joining us. I remind you, please, to visit the Smith School of Business website. Visit the PhD and MSc program pages. Uh, there you'll be able to introduce yourself. There's a button that is entitled Introduce Yourself. Please follow the link and provide information so that we can begin to communicate with you. Also, on the PhD and MSc program our website, you will see the faculty who teach in our program. Visit their faculty web pages so that you can better understand their specific research interests at this time. And when you're crafting your application, keep in mind the interests of our faculty. Uh, please note that we advise you to also go to the Queen's School of Graduate Studies website. Other information is available there on life as a graduate student at Queen's and the application form is located there. We thank you again for your time. If you have questions, direct them to mscm at queensu.ca. That is MSc in management at queensu.ca, just mscm, or phdm at queensu.ca. phdm for management at queensu.ca. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thank you.